Hi, hello guys. This is Vignesh Pandian. Welcome to Architects Learnings. In this video, we are going to see about data matching. What is data matching? Let's say you have two sets of list. You want to connect first list into second list. So how it's connecting is the data matching. I know this is a little complex. Don't worry. We will see with the example. So let's start two lines in Rhino. I'm copying this. So now we have two lines. Let's bring that lines to Grasshopper. Let's divide the curves. Number of counts I am going to give for first curve 5. For the second curve also we will divide. So here I am going to give 8 points. So as you can see we have 6 number of points here 9 number of points we have two list of items let's see with the panel and see there are six points here there are nine points Let's say this is list 1 and this is list 2. Let's connect list 1 and 2 with the line component. As you can see, each point is connected to the parallel points. 1 to 1, second point to second point, third point to third point. But we have only six points here we have nine points so the last point connected to last four points this is the default data matching happen in grasshopper hope you all understand this uh, in data matching there are three types are there shortest list longest list and cross reference so what is shortest list let's copy these lines again So let's copy this to here. Instead of directly connect, we will we are going to connect with the shortest list. So where I can find this? You can find this in sets list shortest list. So this is list A. Let's connect this to this. This is list B. Connected with this. Connect this list a to here and list b to here okay let's connect this curve and this curve so as you can see in this we this is the first curve this is the second curve we divided into five and eight correspondingly so as you can see in this rhino the list A and list B points are connected parallelly. The points which does not have parallel points is not connected to anything. This is called shortest list. Now we will see about longest list. So copy this. Copy this. Now I am going to connect these curves into shortest list. Where I can find this? Sets list longest list. So let's delete this and connect these points to list A and this to list B and like this and connect this. Now we have to set these curves. First curve. Second curve. As you can see, 
the every points are connected to the parallel points the last point connected to all the last points of the second curve the same thing happening here also so in grasshopper the default method is longest list if you want shortest list or cross reference you have to do it manually fine let's see about cross reference i'm going to copy this again and copy this kind of this close to here now we want cross reference so where we can find the same sets list and cross reference let's delete this and connect the list a and list b and start points and end points as you can see each point connected to all the points of another list as you can see this is connected here 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 and this is connected everywhere so this is called cross reference this is also very useful in future videos so these are all about data matching hope you all understand let's see you in next video bye